Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Customs Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster who wanted to know about smart objects in Elements. As you can see on the left here, a standard photo, which is a raster, was resized a couple times and it, it came out blurry. If you try to do the same thing with a smart object, it doesn't go blurry at all. So what is a smart object and what are they used for? Well, a smart object is a Photoshop layer that contains all the same image information of a normal layer, but a smart object layer will allow you to perform non-destructive edits similar to a vector image used in Adobe Illustrator. In other words, a smart object is a means to transfer one or several objects from a raster type image into a non-destructive vector type of image, but not exactly a vector. This allows you to resize an object from big to small and back to big without the typical loss in quality found in raster images, although I'm not sure why you'd want to do this. Photoshop Elements does not include smart objects as a standard feature, but there is an unconventional way to create a smart object in Elements. The only caveat is that some effects or filters won't work on smart objects in Elements and they must first be transferred back to an ordinary object or simplified, and I'll show you how and why. Let's bring in our original JPEG photo into Elements, and it comes up. Now, if we want to resize this, I'm going to unlock it, and we resize it small, like this, and then we resize it back to big. Let's say you're just trying different sizes, and look what happens. The photo becomes blurry, and that's because every time you squeeze it, the pixels have been squeezed and stretched, and once you stretch them back out, the photo is going to be blurry. That's because these images use a process called raster where they're pixelated. Now, if you used a vector image, you wouldn't do that, but Elements doesn't use vectors, neither does Photoshop, but Adobe Illustrator is the only one that can actually work with vectors. So we're left with having to use smart objects, but Elements doesn't really use smart objects, only Photoshop does. So let's try this again using smart objects. Once again, we'll bring in our JPEG photo, and in order to create a pseudo smart object, because there is no drop down menu to be able to do that in Elements. But what you can do is create a smart object using the back door. Basically, what you need to do is open up a new blank file from scratch and we'll hit OK. And then we want to go down here to the photo bin. This is the photo from your previous project over here. You can come down here and drag the photo from the bin up to your new project. And you can always tell whether you've actually created a smart object by looking at the thumbnail at the bottom right. You see this little insignia there? That's not on normal image layers, only on smart objects. And now when we try to resize it from small, we hit OK, and back to big, look what happens. It looks like it's blurry, but as soon as you hit OK, boom, it's nice and sharp, just like the original. So the process was to create a new blank file and grab your photo from the photo bin. Now just remember, the only caveat about smart objects is if you try to apply filters, go to blur, Gaussian blur, you're going to get this error notice, could not complete Gaussian blur, because the pixel data of this layer is not directly editable. In that case, you have to come up here, right click, and choose simplify layer. Or if you try another effect, we'll go to enhance, adjust color, and adjust hue saturation. It tells us that we can not adjust the color without simplifying, but it allows you to click OK and it'll automatically simplify. Watch when I do that, this insignia is going to go away. Boom, it's gone. It allows us to change color. So now we can do the color change, but the problem is, is if we go to resize it and then resize it again, it will be blurry like before. But this is one way to create a smart object within elements. Well, that's all for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.